Hello my friends, how are you today? I'm Andreas from Moto Phoenix. Behind the camera as always is Adrian and today we finally, finally gonna send the Skyline engine bay and for that we need a lot of that. If you guys hear any background noises that sound kinda windy, that's because it kinda is. When I say kinda, I mean I'm, I'm expecting R. Kelly to be here in the yard and sing I believe I can fly. That's how windy it is. Like most of the time, I miss half the spot that is my alien dependent right now because he sees the spot that I am missing. He's my reassurance. He's my backup. <laughs> He's cheap labor. If I'm not completely mistaken, this should have been the part for the for the throttle body wire, the hanger, possibly. If you ask me, removing the front bar has already paid off. No! <laughs> no! Don't hit me! I didn't do that! Ah! Ah! Like a gazelle. Or how do you call that big grey animal with the long nose? That's a gazelle, right? Well friends, after sanding, the obvious next step is cleaning. Preferably you would use a pressure washer or a washing station, but necessity is the mother of all inventions. We will have to make do with what we've got. And that's a little bit of cleaning detergent, a lot of tap water and a few of those spray bottles. To be honest, we did not expect that it worked that reasonably well. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a breeze, but it works and we're gonna get done. And that's the most important part. Done with the first step with spray with a little bit of uh, washing detergent. Now is the second step with pure water to wipe away any residues of the detergent. Be to first sand, clean, 
and then take off again the import car. But because it is a pretty old car, pretty beat up car, and we don't exactly know how well preserved all the wiring new parts are, we decided to just take them off first, have them safe from water and dust, and then, if necessary, take them off again or clean them, whatever helps preserving those parts and shielding them from our endeavors of cleaning. So second step is finished too. We give it a little time to dry up and in the meantime we're going to clean underneath the car to have a slightly cleaner painting environment when we go on painting the engine bed. Next step now is to make the floor a little wet to prevent the dust from steering up all the way when we clean the floor. And uh, of course, even after that, this is nothing even close a professional car painter would deem acceptable to paint anything on a car. But as mentioned, we're gonna make do with what we've got. Give me one of the bottles, thank you very much. For you guys again, only a few seconds, for us a few days have passed. We now have cleaned the floor, have cleaned the engine bay, already degreased it with a little bit of degreaser and some towels. Now we try to not touch it overzealously and keep it degreased. We already primed a few hard to reach spots and a few spots where we did some body repair. It's now up to us to do a little bit more priming and after that really, really paint, finally, finally paint the engine bay. But before all of that, we still need to put a plastic sheet underneath the car and that's what we're gonna do now. thought that a rattle can paint job could look so reasonably well. Of course it is not up to professional automotive painter standards but it is good enough. It will do its job, it does look reasonably well and it will protect the engine bay from rust, from stains, from dirt and grime and all the other stuff an engine bay could encounter. What do you guys think about this engine paint job? Write it down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any of our future videos, subscribe our channel and we see you next time. Bye bye!